This problem comes from the Leave Insert Higher Level Maths paper 2020. It's paper two, question eight. A list consists of eight whole numbers. They are labeled from A to H as shown below. The numbers are greater than zero and are ordered from smallest to largest. The difference between any two adjacent numbers is two or more. The median of the list is 12.5. The lower quartile, which is the median of the four lowest numbers is 7.5. The interquartile range is 12. The second largest number is 23. The range of the list is 21. And the mean of the list is 13.5. Find the numbers which satisfy all of the above conditions and write them into the boxes below. So if you want to give that question a try, uh, maybe give yourself about five minutes, see if you can work it out and type in your solution into the comments below and we can see how you did. And then once you're done, you can have a look at the rest of the video to see the solution. Okay, so this is the solution to the problem. I'm going to start by reading through the um, rules again and writing some notes in. So the difference between any two adjacent numbers is two or more. So for example, this is 23. This has to be at least 25. This has to be at most 21. The median of the list is 12.5. Well, I can write that in. The median is the number which splits the list in two, and that's 12.5. The lower quartile, which is the median of the four lowest numbers, is 7.5. So that's in between these two, B and C. That's 7.5. The interquartile range is 12. The interquartile range, then, is the difference between the lower quartile and the upper quartile, which is here. And the difference between them is 12. So that means the upper quartile is 12 plus 7.5, which is 19.5. The second largest number is 23, as shown. The range of the list is 21, and the mean of the list is 13.5. So let's see if we can start to work out some of the numbers. Now, where I'll start is where we have the most information, which is here. So I have the upper quartile is 19.5. And I have this number here, 23. Now, the upper quartile, 19.5, is the average of these two numbers here. So it's the average of F and G is 19.5. Well, if the average is 19.5, then that means the two numbers added together equals 39. If G is 23, then F is just going to be 39 minus 23, which is 16. So that gives us the number F. Then I'm going to move this way and have a look at the median. The median is 12.5 and using the same logic, the sum of D and E is 25. So I'm looking for two numbers that add together to give me 25. One of the numbers is greater than 12.5. The other number is less than 12.5. So for example, 12 and 13 would add to 25. But it can't be 12 and 13 because we have to have two between the numbers. So it can't be 12 and 13. What about 11 and 14? Well, 11 and 14 would work, um, but could it be anything else? Could we say have 10 and 15? 10 and 15 looks like it could work, but the difference between 15 and 16 is only one. So it can't be 10 and 15. It must then be 11 and 14. So now we have D and E. Now I'm going to continue with this logic down the list here because I have 7.5 as the lower quartile. So B and C must add together to give 15 twice 7.5. So two numbers to add to give me 15, for example, 5 and 10. Now they won't work because the difference between 10 and 11 is only one. So how about six and nine? Well, six and nine would work. They add to give me 15. But I don't know enough information to, to know where they the correct ones. Um, that would be six and nine. What about seven and eight? They would also work. But then the difference between seven and eight is only one. So then, therefore, it must be six and nine like that. And now I just need to find my last two numbers. I know that the range of the list is 21. So the difference between A and and H is 21. I know that 
pH needs to be at least 25 because it has to be two bigger than 23. A at most can be four because it has to be two lower than six. So if that was four and that was 25, the difference would be 21. If we went to anything else, let's say we went three and 25, then that wouldn't work because the difference is 22. So it has to be four for A and 25 for H. Now there is one last thing to check out. The mean of the list is 13.5. So we need to add them together. So it'll be four plus six plus nine plus 11 plus 14 plus 16 plus 23 plus 25 divided by eight. And is that equal to 13.5? It is. OK, so that's uh, my solution to this problem. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.